Hey guys, what's going on? Today I am at Barcade at St. Mark's Place in the East Village section of Manhattan and right now we're going to walk in and give you a brand tour. Alright, so immediately to our right we have an EHM tournament edition. We actually have quite a few number of cabaret cabinets here. We have Galaga. Here we got Street Fighter Alpha 2. And here it is, guys, the original Street Fighter, or as I like to call it, Fighting Street. That was the name of the title on the Turbo Graphics CD. And here it is in action. This one uses a six button format as opposed to the one that uses the two pressure pads, and depending on how you press, it determines the strength of the move. Here we have Donkey Kong. This is a barcade regular. Here we have Marvel vs. Capcom. Here we got Sega's Outrun. Alright, we're gonna go down the ramp here. Take a look at a few more titles. And here we got Crazy Taxi. We got Primal Rage. Here we got a cabaret of Ms. Pac-Man. And here we have a centipede cabaret. Now what's interesting here is that this is actually contains millipede as well. The two star buttons here when you press them together. Become, well actually, what you just saw was millipede, now it's centipede, but it's actually a centipede cabinet. And as you can see the scores are dominated by Zap, who is an awesome player. He was actually a good friend of mine and my Jesse buddy. Here we have a Tetris cabaret. Here we have a tube in pad. There we go, it uses five buttons. We have Terminator 2 the Judgment Day. There we have one of the most graphically violent video games, Chiller. And we have four player action, Simpsons. Although it's actually one player, player playing right now. Okay, moving along, we have Dark Adventure by Konami. Right, here's a classic, Gyrus, which is essentially Galaga in a tube. Here we got Rygar. Here's a, one of my favorites, Strider 2. Which I've, had, I've had lots of fun playing this game. It's not nearly as difficult as the first Strider, but still not one I've been able to beat on one credit. And here we got not one, but two Neo Geo cabinets. This one is a four slot. Right now what you're seeing here is King of Fighters 97. You also have a few other games. Like Samurai Showdown 2, Neo Mr. Do, and Metal Slug 2 is on here. And on this cabinet we have Fatal Fury Special, we have Double Dragon, Fighters History Dynamite, and a few other games, Bust the Move. Here we got Killer Instinct. Tekken 3. Mortal Kombat 2. We got a beat em up Batman Forever. We got SNK's Akari Warriors. And Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. We got a shooter in Dio. It's the opening intro here, not the actual gameplay in action, but here we got Dynamite Cop, which is, if I'm not mistaken, it's essentially it's a sequel. It's like the unofficial sequel to Die Hard Arcade. Let's just go back to Dial here and hear some of the gameplay in action. I played this a few times by myself, also with a friend of mine. Pretty cool shooter. Here we have Light Gun Shooter Alien 3. We'll just wait here and uh, check out some of the action, uh, some of the gameplay action. Right now, I'm just going through the intro screen. You know, let's go check it, look at the, take a, show you the other games. My game, Dig Dug. I don't need to go any further. Another awesome four-player game. Here we have Turtles in Time. Here we 
everybody loves turtles in time. All right, so let's move on. Here we have Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. It, this is bad, the Sega Genesis version is vastly different than the arcade version of this game. And here's an interesting one: we have a Nintendo Play Choice 10 cabinet, which has multiple and Nintendo games on it. Now, the difference between this and the uh, Nintendo Versus cabinets is that these are the actual NES versions, whereas the Nintendo Versus games were slightly different. So let's just go back here to Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Here's some of the gameplay. Here we have, this is what, uh, Ninja Game, Sega, I forget the exact title, but one of my favorites, Splatterhouse. You all know it on the Total Graphic 16. Here is the arcade version of it. I did a video before on this showing you guys the ending. All right, and to wrap things up, we got Speed Racer. And we have the Rampage World Tour. All right, guys. So that is Barcade, St. Mark's Place in the East Village section of Manhattan. So if you're ever in New York City, come on by. Take the number six train to Astor Place. It's about one block away. St. Mark's Place, St. Mark's Place on the corner of Third Avenue. Well, one thing I wanted to add about this place compared to the other barcades is that most of the games here focus on the 90s and there's a lot of fighting games. While the other barcade locations mainly focus on 80s games. So this one is actually different than the rest of them. So if you're a big fan of fighting games, you definitely have to check this place out, alright? So, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.